What's up guys? So basically off that last video I made in regards to patience, um, I guess the thumbnail photo of my uh, before and after shots of my calves, which is basically 24 years of progress uh, doing calves. And I've literally been in the gym 27 years and uh, uh, it's been consistent pretty much through those years. I mean, I've had layoffs of uh, maybe a month to four months at a time, but never any more than that. It's been pretty consistent. But anyways, uh, you guys wanted to see how I do calves. Uh, basically, it's pretty simple. I do standing uh, calf raises on my Smith machine. Um, basically, uh, my home gym, that's all I have access to basically is uh, Smith machine, standing calves, or I could use dumbbell with one leg at a time, but I find it a little more efficient if I use the Smith machine. So basically, that's all I do. I do uh, once a week, once every 10 days, 12 days, somewhere in there I do calves. Um, if, if Sometimes as far as prep, I used to do calves twice a week. Um, so uh, frequency will, will vary, uh, but uh, exercise selection is the same. If you're in a gym setting, as far as commercial gym setting, I personally, if it was me, I would go with a standing calf machine or or exercise where I'm standing. If you can find a piece of equipment where you're standing, uh, that to me is uh, the best exercise as far as calves. Seated calf raises, um, in my opinion, it's just, I wouldn't say it's a waste of time, but uh, I think standing calf raises, if you do them correctly, you're hitting uh, all areas of the calves and you don't really need to go from seated to standing um, you definitely don't need to change foot positions as far as you know pointing toes out pointing toes in and whatnot so basically the way I do them, my calves is as far as foot placement is I make sure I'm standing with my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width and uh, the reason I do that is I'm going to actually shut my camera off and, and change it to a different angle so you can see these are my calves as they are now, uh, not pumped. I'm getting ready to do calves now, but uh, these are these are my calves without a pump, just so you can kind of see. Uh, but anyways, uh, who cares about size? Right now, I just want to talk about how to do calves. As far as foot placement goes, uh, a lot of guys I know or you know I've seen is they put their foot placement uh, pretty close together like I have here. And what happens is when you go up on your toes, you can see how... Um, a lot of the weight distribution uh, goes on the outer part of my cat, uh, toes, I should say. See how my foot kind of rolls outwards. Um, my ankles tend to roll outwards, and and that's uh, only basically hitting a lot of the outer head of my calf, and not so much the inner. Um, and that's where I think where uh, most guys get a little bit, uh, they go wrong a little bit is because they don't get that inner head to contract as much. And then you also see a lot of uh, bouncing, um, which in my opinion is not the way to go. You want to make sure you get full range of motion and good contractions at the top. So what I like to do is spread the feet out so um, I am shoulder width, uh, my feet are shoulder width apart or they're slightly wider than shoulder width apart and the reason I do that is once you go up on your calves you can notice how my feet no longer roll forward um, my right foot looks that way simply because I'm holding my camera with my left hand as I'm pointing down but uh, what you want to do is go straight up and you'll notice how I'm, the weight distributes evenly across all toes my ankles don't roll outwards so a lot of the contraction now is on my inner calf and also my outer calf so I'm getting good full uh, contraction when I'm, I'm I'm able to get full contraction by having my feet wider um, so I think that's really helped my calf development is simply having my foot placement uh, shoulder width apart uh, my feet pointing straight and then just getting full contraction at the top and then going all the way down. Um, I don't bounce, like I said, like a bunny rabbit. Um, you know, leave that for the bunnies. Uh, but for uh, bodybuilding purposes, get full contraction at the top and then back down. Okay, so that's uh, that's why I like uh, to spread my feet out. I think you're going to be able to get um, 
better contraction, so you're gonna you're able to get that weight distributed across all your toes. You'll be able to get more of the weight up on your big toe, which is gonna help you contract that inner calf. And um, like I said, if your feet are too close together, um, once you go up on your 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 toes, once you go up, you know, uh, contract up, you're gonna only feel it pretty much in your your outer calf. You'll feel it a little bit on your inner, but the majority of it's gonna be in your outer. You can you can, as you're watching this, you can. Try it yourself. Just stand with your feet close together. Go up on your t toes all the way up, and you'll notice how your ankles will roll out. Um, if you spread your feet out, you're going to be able to go on all toes, mainly your big toe, pretty well. And uh, so that's, I think, is a huge, huge difference in my calf training. And um, so yeah, so that's basically my foot placements. As far as sets, reps, um, sets anywhere from three to four. And as far as the rep range, I personally like low reps, four to six on calves, um, with progressive overload, meaning I'm aiming to add weight to the bar. Um, I treat it just like uh, a power movement, let's say bench press or squats, uh, heavy weight, um, progressive overload, and uh, just keep getting stronger. Um, full range of motion, you guys want to go, um, as far as full range of motion, you want to go all the way up, contract all the way down, uh, no bouncing, okay? Uh, you guys don't want to bounce like a bunny rabbit. Um, just like any other body part, you want good form, full range of motion. And um, so, yeah, three to four sets, four to six rep range. Look to add weight to the bar when you can and keep getting stronger. Um, and basically, this is how I've been training my calves probably for the past, I want to say, 12 years since I've had my own home gym. Well, 11 years now it is basically... Uh, progressive overload um, you know Smith machine three to four sets four to six rep range and um, yeah and that's basically it um, my last contest prep in 2011 though when I was training calves twice a week um, I was doing uh, four to six rep range and then the other workout was more like uh, eight to twelve but uh, for the majority of my calf training yeah it's four to six rep range and that's basically it. So I'm gonna get into do my sets here and uh, looking to pile the weight on the bar, see if I could add more weight than I did last time, uh, maybe five, ten pounds, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, that's it for my calf training. Hope that answers your question. So if you guys are struggling in the calf department, be patient. That's all I gotta say. Be patient. Keep the keep the uh, training progressive, and uh, you'll get there. It just takes a little bit of time.